Click the link in my description to sign up for prize picks using my code NBA Goober for a 100% deposit match up to $100. Sup, dude. Sir Charles Barkley was a thick fucking slab of meat who could blow the opponent's back out on any given night. The round mound of rebounds stood at 6'6", believed to be as short as 6'4", but weighed an enormous 250 pounds and had a shockingly high vertical of 39 inches, which was an inch higher than Kobe Bryant's, despite Chuck being 40 pounds heavier. To be that large with that much bounce is completely mind-boggling. I believe he deserves a ton more credit for how athletic he was. Nowadays, all you hear about him is that he's a fat piece of shit who likes donuts and never won a ring. Sure, that stuff is pretty funny and somewhat true, but let's not ignore the fact that he is the greatest undersized big man in NBA history. Also, can we acknowledge how handsome young Chuck was? <sighs> He was breathtaking. The blob with arms and legs averaged 22 points, 12 rebounds, four assists, and one and a half steals per game over his career. The dude was extremely well-rounded, pun intended. His two best skills were post-scoring and rebounding. Being 6'4", these were extremely weird skills to have, seeing that most big men at the time were six or more inches taller than him. Despite this, Chuck excelled amongst the trees. He sits at 19th on the NBA's all-time rebounding list, ahead of players like Dikembe Mutombo, Dennis Rodgers, Rodman and Patrick Ewing. He was an explosive rebounder with magnets for hands. In terms of post scoring, he was so good at it, he forced the league to make a rule change. Chuck was a bulldozer with the post up. His insane strength allowed him to back opponents down until he had a shot he liked. The problem with this was it made the game slow and repetitive, so the league created the five second back to the basket violation, also known as the Charles Barkley rule. It made it so that if a player backed his opponent down for longer than five seconds, a turnover would occur. In my opinion, I don't like this rule because I love seeing a huge dude very forcefully throw his ass into another man's crotch in order to get a bucket. I know Gary Harris agrees with me. Barkley played with an insane amount of confidence. He wasn't scared of anyone or anything that came his way. This led to him being the rebounding leader in 88, earning an all-star selection 11 times, getting named All-NBA 11 times, and winning an MVP over Hakeem and Michael in 93. While these achievements are incredibly impressive, there is one thing missing missing a championship. As we all know, he never won a ring, which sucks because really good players who don't have one are harshly criticized. And I feel like we focus more on the fact that they didn't win a ring than how good they were. All Barkley wanted to do was win. He didn't care about the money or fame, but that desire to win could only take him so far because after all, teams win championships, not players. During his rookie year, the 76ers made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but they lost. After that, it was all downhill. Philly didn't pair Barkley up with another championship caliber talent, which resulted in seven years of losing in the playoffs or missing them entirely. After eight seasons in Philly, he was traded to Phoenix where he won MVP and made it to the finals his first year with the team. This was Chuck's only chance at winning a ring and sadly, it was against Michael Jordan and the Bulls who were in the middle of their first three-peat. Barkley left it all on the court, averaging 27, 13, and six, but it wasn't enough losing the series four to two. In the years after this, it was just another string of playoff exits, giving Charles a negative reputation similar to legends who also didn't see postseason success. While it is a fair point to mention championships when talking about how good a player's career was, I don't believe it weighs on how skilled the player was, meaning that guys like Stockton, Iverson, and Barkley should still be looked at as very successful despite being unfortunate in the postseason. Instead of looking at these guys like failures, let's celebrate the greatness they brought to the game. Charles Barkley was and still is one of a kind. He paved the way for short kings who play bigger than their height. After being a TV personality for so long, it's easy for people to not take him seriously. That's why I wanted to make this video, to show everyone how great Sir Charles Barkley really was. All right, click here to watch my last video. It's about how everyone hates Russell Westbrook. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, dude.